Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at Elder Ford in Tampa, and guess what? Special day because we have the official Shelby American truck here and their full lineup of new and exciting vehicles coming from the GT500 Special Edition to this GT350 Special Edition, and of course, the mighty Snoop, Super Snake and the Shelby GT. But before we dive into this first ever GT350 Special Edition from Shelby American, let's talk about what's going on here. So Shelby American, they're based out of Las Vegas. They're the ones that continue the great work that Carroll Shelby started all the way back in the 1960s. Now, originally, Shelby American was based out of California. They have since then moved to Las Vegas. And since Carroll Shelby got reconnected with Ford, that's what allowed all this great magic to happen. Because remember, when it comes to the Shelby GT350, the first year was 1965. The last year was 1970. And we all know that I'm a huge fan of the current platform of the Shelby GT350 since I went out and got a GT350R Heritage Edition. Now what's unique about this special edition is that it actually comes with a CSM number. That is that number that's gonna live the life with that vehicle and it's an official Shelby American product. My Shelby GT350R, even though it's a Heritage Edition, that came straight from Ford. It was built in Flat Rock, Michigan and sent right to Tampa. Now, the difference with this is it's gonna be still built at Shelby at uh, Flat Rock, Michigan, but then it's gonna go to Shelby American in Las Vegas. Or you could actually, if you already have a GT350, you could take your GT350 and have it sent to Shelby American and have it turned into an SE GT350. It costs $10,000. They're only making a hundred of them. So this is one of a hundred. Don't expect extra horsepower per se, but where you're gonna get performance, of course, is when it comes to handling and overall stability. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this Shelby GT350 SE and see why it is a knockout from Shelby American. Right off the bat, the style of the GT350 has always made my heart pitter patter. And the good news is the great folks at Shelby American, they didn't feel like a big need to change a lot. So when you're looking at the front end of the business here, you're gonna get your GT350R massive splitter. Of course, depending on which one you send to them, that's gonna change that, but this is an R. So you have your massive front splitter. The way you also know it's an R besides the massive splitter, because remember that splitter, it's gonna produce downforce get air into all the coolers and prevent lift. We don't want air going underneath the car at speed. The other tall tail sign is gonna be the, the red badge. So when you see the red badge, that is specific to the GT350R. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that the car is actually sitting lower. They dropped it about an inch and that is all done through special lowering springs. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Now, I know when you go GT350R, you're gonna get those awesome amazing carbon fiber wheels. A lot of owners don't want to keep the wheels on the car. So what they did was, is they go with these Shelby designed forged aluminum wheels. Love the pattern. You got your Shelby center cap, the Shelby embossed here. Of course, you're looking at 305 on the width, 30 series sidewall, 19 inch wheels. So they kept it the same wheel diameter as your standard Shelby GT350 and GT350R wheel. This is a 2016, so they actually took a 2016 and used this as their pre-production prototype. The way that you know it's not a new one is you see the cross-drilled and ventilated rotors, they don't do that anymore. Now you get a solid ventilated rotor, not a cross-drilled rotor, but you're gonna get those massive six-piston calipers, the way it sits a little bit, and you're getting that exclusivity of Shelby American, one of 100. Now, when you come down the side, of course, you're gonna get that beautiful side stripe with the Shelby logo all the way to the rear of the vehicle where it says Signature Edition. It's gonna be hard to show because we can't open up the vehicle, but inside they actually recover the seats in leather. So those Recaros or the other uh, style seats that you get, they recover them in special leather, of course, with the Shelby embroidery. And like I said, this has a CSM number, which makes it an official Shelby product. You have a catback exhaust and a few other touches here and there. Let's get to the back of the vehicle and see what we can show off. Of course, you're gonna have that carbon fiber rear wing. One of my favorite touches that they did is you'll notice the different plate that we have here with that Shelby GT350. It's the 55th anniversary of the GT350. Started off in 65 and really just changed 
a lot of how Ford Performance vehicles are done and Ford Performance vehicles are featured. Now, when looking at which way should you go, because remember, they have a GT500 Special Edition, this being the GT350, of course, we still have the Super Snake and a Shelby GT. If you're trying to figure out, well, what, which one is the right one for you, it's just gonna depend on how much performance that you have, because this 526 horsepower, they didn't mess with that. That was something that Ford didn't want them to put twin turbos or a supercharger on the engine. Because of the flat plane crankshaft, it does create a lot of vibration, so that, you know they didn't want to really go into actually increasing horsepower numbers, but where you're getting that extra performance is definitely in the handling, because they took this around the Las Vegas Motor Speedway track, since that's located near the facility, and ran it lap after lap after lap to guarantee that you're not only gonna get that wonderful aesthetic part of things, but you're also gonna get that performance and that GT350 name. Now, Ken Miles would definitely be proud with the work that they've done. And even with, when we look at the Super Snake over here, you're looking at a lot of performance. And the nice thing about this particular setup is that Shelby Super Snake, you're looking at $120,000 or so. This, it's $10,000. You're getting that CSM number, you're getting that ex uh, exclusivity, and you're getting a, a vehicle that just stands out from the rest of the GT350 crowd. Going back to the original roots, remember, 65 and 66 are known as the purest forms of the Shelby GT350. As we go through 67, 68, and then definitely 69 and 70 were where it got a little far further away from that whole connection. And then of course in 2015 is when they made the current generation of the GT350 with that Voodoo engine, all about road course. And it really makes sense because think about it. The Shelby GT350 from 1966 was all about racing a Mustang on a road course. This car is about pure road course. Even though the GT500 has more performance, this car is so balanced and Shelby American has been able to take it to the next level by fine tuning everything that Ford Performance has done, just taking it that one notch extra, almost as if Ken Miles or Carroll Shelby himself drove the car and made the changes themselves. That's what the engineers and the designers and the team at Shelby American in Las Vegas is able to do, carry on that name, but also carry on that performance. But if it's definitely cars like these, that you want to keep seeing on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. And as we kind of walk down a little bit here, let me show you the back of this Super Snake. We're going to be featuring this Super Snake very, very shortly. This is actually a 2021 prototype. So if it's not GT350Rs that you want to see, we're also going to be bringing the Super Snakes and all the other vehicles that they have from Shelby American, including the trucks, which I will leave links at the end of these videos so that you can trace your Shelby American viewing pass. We've done the Super Snake trucks, we've done the F-150 street version, we've done the raised version, I've done a walk around of a Super Snake from a couple years ago, and then now we have the new stuff here at Elder Ford. Now the great news is, is that we will be getting our hands on these to drive. Not today, but as soon as Elder Ford gets the production versions, these are all pre-production, we're gonna be getting behind the wheel and showcasing the cars, doing the on-throttle performance, and bringing all the excitement that Carroll Shelby is known for. Going from a 5.2 liter, remember, you start with the GT500, you got a 5.2 liter, they call that the Predator motor, that's 760 horsepower from the factory, then you have the Voodoo engine from the factory, that's 526 horsepower, and then of course the Coyote, which a lot of people think the Super Snake has the GT500 engine. It does not, that's actually the Coyote engine. So that's 460 horsepower. And then the insanity is, is that besides the GT350R being stock horsepower, the GT500 Special Edition and this one is over 800 horsepower, which is gonna get the fans really, their hearts beating with that kind of performance. Zero to 60, less than three seconds. I mean, that's what you're doing when you go Shelby uh, American route, when you go Super Snake. GT350R, still with the six speed, you're still gonna be pretty close to uh, around 3.8 seconds, zero to 60. And even with the GT500, they remapped the magnetic ride suspension. They, they retuned it from Ford Performance to bring that extra uh, you know, handling, the braking, 
and also acceleration. A lot of people don't understand that when you get on throttle, suspension plays a big role as well with how the car reacts to your inputs. But if you are new to the channel and you wanna keep seeing this stuff, hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, you see the work that we do. I'm sweating all over the place. Thank you for being part of the Raise Rides family. Gotta give it up to Victor out here sweating along with me for all his hard work. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.